There's a very mysterious and very rare type of introvert that I want to tell you about today, and that is called Sigma. First of all, if this term is new to you, the origin came from Theodore Robert Beale in a blog post back in 2010. Now, there's a lot of controversy about is Sigma really an archetype, such as we've heard of the Alpha archetype. I have scoured for months for real research around this, and I haven't come up with much at all. So let me share with you what I have found. The best way to understand this type of introvert is to think about the other extreme. Most of you are familiar with the alpha personality. That term's been around so long. And when people talk about someone being an alpha-like personality, extremely confident, it's extremely take charge, they're very extroverted, and they like a lot of social approval. And they like to be the alpha, meaning at the top of the hierarchy of any group that they are with. Just as the alpha extrovert is very confident, Think about on the other extreme, somebody who is very introverted and confident. The Sigma introvert is known as someone who is extremely confident and extremely independent, basically doing their own thing. They are not interested in mastering anybody else but themselves, and they're they are all about self-mastery. Somebody who is not only introverted, not only very confident, but really not interested in being a part of any hierarchy. Whereas the alpha take charge extrovert is commonly referred to as the lead wolf of a pack, the introverted sigma is often referred to as the lone wolf. They don't want any part of any social hierarchy whatsoever. These are people who are really hard to get to know because they're basically doing their own thing, living their own lives. They are fine without any social interaction whatsoever. So these can be people who are very mysterious and very hard to get to know. Which leads me to why people are so interested in this type of introvert. People like people who there's a bit of mystery around so that they can become curious about this person. And a lot of times people see them as a challenge. It can be a challenge to think, well, if I could just break through to this person, I, mean, I know that I can be the one to break through the barrier of this person. If the person really is Sigma, then that's who they are at their core. And they're going to be elusive. They're going to be a loner. That is just their makeup. And so you're going to have to accept them for who they are rather than try to change them. And this is also the reason why a lot of people want to self-identify as Sigma, because they see it as this attractive trait to be shrouded in all of this mystery. Now, if you're liking this video and you want to see more videos about introverts, be sure and subscribe to my channel. So if you are a loner, you're all about isolation, independence, you really don't want to be a part of any social hierarchy whatsoever and asking yourself, might I be Sigma? Now I have seen different statistics and I have yet to find some based on research. However, the statistics that I've seen are everything from 0.02% to 0.1% of people are Sigma. So the chances that you are Sigma are probably very slim. And even if you're wondering if you are, you probably don't wanna go around saying that you are because people who are truly mysterious and truly don't care about hierarchies and truly don't care about any kind of social status would probably not go around saying, I think I'm Sigma. That would be like saying, yeah, I'm pretty mysterious. So if you say you're mysterious, you're kind of taking out the mystery. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you have a little better understanding around the mystery of the Sigma.